Hello everybody, Gaming Bricks here, back for another LEGO video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a LEGO set review. Now, this LEGO set review is going to be on LEGO City set number 60300 Wildlife Rescue ATV. It contains 74 pieces and is recommended for ages 5 and up. And it contains these little monkey pieces, which is the main reason I'm really excited for this set. So the first thing we'll notice with this set is that according to the box, these are the new turning wheels. And if you don't know what those are, I'll demonstrate it in a minute. They're basically where you can lean the car and it will turn it. Up here is just normal box art. On the back, we can see that this is actually a push tab box. You can see that we have two bags. Uh, one of which contains the smaller elements and this one larger one which contains the larger elements. Um, that's fairly standard packaging. So upon opening these bags, I, I would like to point out a couple different elements that really grab my attention. The first of which is these steering elements. These basically just clip together and they work like that. Another really cool piece would be this um, mountain bike helmet in dark red. I'm not sure if we've ever gotten this color before. I don't believe we have. So that's really cool. Oh, you get a banana in here. Uh, but the really cool things, in my opinion, are the blue scorpion. I think these may have been introduced for like Pharaoh's Quest or something, but now we have it in dark blue. We may have gotten in dark blue before, but I've just never had them in dark blue. I only have them in black. And of course, the really cool piece is the new monkey element. I mean, just look at this thing. This is, this is really cool. He has a cute little face there. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, this is really well done. Um, you can see his stud connection is there, and obviously he has a massively oversized hand, but that is because then you can clip him onto this. He could clip onto anything, just like a normal minifigure accessory. Um, he could hang by his tail, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he can clip kind of like Lego cats, um, where he has like a stud connection, and then he has an indent in his foot down there to allow it around a stud like that. Yeah, really cool. And the best part is that you get two of them. These are very, very cool pieces. I'm very happy to have these. So first of all, you get three extra pieces. So then as for the animals, as we've already seen, we get a nice dark blue scorpion, and then we get one monkey with an accessory of a banana, and we just get one more monkey with no accessories, but that's totally fine. We get a Lego City uh, ATV driver. He has some really nice printing. I'm loving the pant pockets, um, and then he has a nice rescue logo on the back. This logo is kind of reminding me of some of the, like the Lego Friends Jungle Rescue sets. Yeah, this guy only has one side of printing on his head, and that's totally fine. For the builds, we have a drone. Now, this drone has two spinnable propellers. Um, you can adjust these, I guess, if you really wanted to. Um, I think they're meant to be straight. It's a really neat overall build. Um, it's a little bit on the larger side for presumably the drone size it's supposed to be but that's still really cool nonetheless. We have an ATV. Now this has a uh, nice suspension. It goes like that. Um, it has space for one minifigure, obviously the ATV driver, and he can sit right on back here. And then you can clip his hands to the bar. And then on the back, this little pole with a clip on it, which can clip onto the rack on the back. There's a really cool one by two tile printing here. It's like some African safari picture or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but it's really cool. And then for the suspension, it works like this. If you want to turn, you lean it in the direction you want to turn. Um, yeah, I'm loving these new pieces. This is this is honestly a really fun play feature. You used to have to drag your cars or like lean them on two tires to get it to turn, but now you can just lean them. This is, this is I'm a big fan of this. This is really cool. And then for the tree itself, it's a very small tree, it's a very little build, but luckily it has two leaves, it has one branch, 
you can hang a monkey from by its tail. Or you can have him swinging with his arm, I guess. Let's see if we can get it to work. Yeah, you can have that. Yeah, really fun little tree. You can like put monkeys on in the top of it if you want to, like so. Yeah, it doesn't look as good on the back side. It's more like a uh, frontal view only model, but it's still very cool looking. Now, one other thing I would really like to point out is just how small the monkeys have gotten, because here's the monkey element that they just released. And here is the monkey element that they first introduced in Lego Pirates in 1989. And just look at the size difference. Like, he's he's like three quarters of the length of the other guy. This guy, if you compare him to like a minifigure, come on. If you compare the old monkey to a minifigure lengthwise, like with the tail and everything, I mean, it's, it's pretty tall. It's a pretty massive monkey. This might as well be a gorilla or something. But then when you compare it to this monkey to him, lengthwise he's similar height, but he just looks a lot closer to the actual size of a monkey. He's still probably on the larger side, but it really depends on what kind of monkey this is supposed to be. But this monkey, while I love the old monkey element, it's just probably a little bit big. I'd love to see these monkeys, these new ones, return. If they did any more like uh, zoo sets or even, honestly, I'd love to see them return with a Lego Pirates line and have these monkeys in it. That would be really cool. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give a thumbs up and please consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on more Lego reviews and other videos coming up shortly. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs>